morning. My name is Curtis Carroll, and uh, good to be with you here on a Theology Thursday. Uh, one of the things that has been really encouraging for me is learning about where we got our scripture, kind of the history around uh, the Bible, where the writings came from, how can we trust uh, that they're accurate, um, what, and how can we have good faith that they can be an authoritative guide in our lives. Um, and a lot of times when critics of our faith want to try and uh, attack or, or persuade us away from it, uh, they will point to different things about the, uh, about the New Testament in particular and try and say, well, it's not to be believed, it has inaccuracies, it's contradictory, different things. And when we study um, kind of the history behind uh, the writings in the New Testament, we actually see a different picture. We see one of great accuracy and authority and confidence um, that can really build our faith. Um, and so one of the uh, key verses when we do this actually comes from uh, 2 Peter uh, 3. And in particular, I wanna share with you uh, 2 Peter 3, 15 and 16. And count the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given him as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters. There are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. So these two passages in 2 Peter are actually incredibly important and very valuable because they tell us two very important things. The first, when Peter says, uh, as he does in all his letters, so Peter, an apostle of Christ, uh, knew about and was aware of Paul's letters that were circling uh, amongst the churches in the earliest days after Christ had, had gone back to heaven. And he knew about this, and he's speaking about them here. So they were known to him. Second, he says, uh, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. The wording there is incredibly key. So Paul is equating, or excuse me, Peter is equating Paul's letters as scripture. He's not saying that they're like scripture or anything else. He's saying these are scripture because he says specifically as they do the other scriptures. And if you go to the, what the Greek term there for scripture that's used when Peter was writing this, it's the same term that they used when they would talk about passages for the Old Testament. They say as the scripture says, they would use the same, the same Greek term. So in the earliest days of the church, there were writings that were circulating that came from authoritative apostles that were being used by the church and with the approval of the apostles that were closest to Christ. And this is key. It tells us that what we have as scripture today uh, is not something that was contrived or put together or approved and pushed out to churches hundreds of years later. It tells us that these writings were in common use, were well circulated in the earliest days of the Christian faith, and the, the leaders of the church at that time regarded them as scripture. And this is key, because one of the key criticisms that will come is that, well, you don't, you can't trust your Bible because it was put together later, and there were changes, and there were councils, and all these sorts of things. And that's, that's a, a really a flawed view of the history. Uh, so, just the encouraging thought I want to leave you with is that what you have in your Bible, what's in the New Testament, has been the same stuff that uh, followers of Christ have been using since the earliest days. And it's a great thing. So here in hopefully some future videos, we'll talk more about um, how, how the different books in particular ended up in what we call the, the New Testament. And I think there'll be a lot more uh, great stuff to learn from that as well. So have a great Thursday. See you later.